Welcome to week two, merchandising transactions. So week two, we're going to be dealing with buying and selling inventory. If we compare that to week one, everything in week one was providing a service. So if you were a hair salon or a dog walker or a landscaping company, you were just providing services. You weren't actually selling a physical good. Week two deals with selling physical goods. So the key to week two is this little scenario here. You've got your vendor, and in this case I'm assuming it's a manufacturer, it's not always the case, it could be a wholesaler, but you've got your vendor, they're selling product to you, so when you're looking at these scenarios, think of yourself as being the middleman, a retail business, and then you turn around and sell to your customers. So there's two things going on here. First, you're buying, and then you're selling. And I know this sounds incredibly simple, but this is probably the most confusing part of this week, because when you look at a transaction, you've got to stop and ask yourself, am I buying it or am I selling it? Because... Uh, depending on whether you're buying or selling is going to tell you how to treat that from an accounting standpoint. The transactions from your vendor to you are always based on the cost principle. And the cost principle just says that you put your assets on the balance sheet, and in this case that asset will be inventory, at whatever you paid for it. And that sounds simple enough also, but what you're paying for a product to get it from the vendor to you might include freight, so that freight should be included in the cost of your inventory. The purchase price or the invoice amount would be included in the cost of that inventory. And then, of course, if you return some of it, you reduce your cost of the inventory. And then another thing, if you get some type of discount, either for purchasing a large quantity or a cash discount for paying early, those have got to be subtracted from your cost of the inventory. So your inventory can include a number of things. The purchase price, freight, discounts. Add purchase price, add freight, subtract discounts. So that's the relationship between your vendor and you. And then you turn around and sell to your customers. And the same thing is happening. You're going to have a selling price. You're going to have delivery fees. You might give them a discount for paying early. So all of those are included in your transactions. But unlike the initial transaction where you bought the inventory, those items do not affect your inventory. Because once you have that, that one inventory price, inventory cost, that you've got your inventory on the shelves for, that amount stays the same. Everything that you are selling to your customers is going to go into a different account. So when you look at some of these transactions, just stop and ask yourself, am I buying the inventory or am I selling it? And then make sure that you record it based on whether you're buying or selling. And so if we look at the content or the outline for week two, it's not quite as long as week one, but 2.1 is talking about buying inventory and then notice here we've got sales returns and discounts so that's selling the inventory um, the value of purchases so that's buying the inventory and then we've got freight so these 2.1 2.2 .2, 2.3 are the bulk of week two and they cover everything that I just discussed in that little graphic so there aren't any videos in in week two within the course content so if you like videos to help explain the material you're not going to get any in week two so it'll be more important I guess to have a discussion in the discussion forum or for you to ask questions because I might be able to create create a simple video uh, to help explain some of these concepts so again let me know if I can clear up any of these concepts